guys, I can't believe it's already May and it already feels like summer. So which is why I'm wearing a sundress. Anyways, I thought it would be appropriate since it feels like summer to talk about Lush's dusting powders and its many uses. I love these dusting powders. Um, I first started using it a couple years ago when I just randomly walked into a Lush store and I was like, what the heck do you use these for? And you can use these for so many different things. So I'll go head to toe. Um, one of the uses that I've wanted, been wanting to try that I haven't yet um, is to use it as a dry shampoo. I am currently using Oscar Blandy's Pronto Dry Shampoo. And I think I've only used this much so I still have a ways to go but I do want to try using these instead and basically if you guys don't know what um, dry shampoo is it just helps you just sprinkle it into your hair and you brush it out and it helps to absorb the, the scalp oils that you have and it helps to extend the days in between your shampoos because you know it's better if you don't shampoo every day because it strips your scalp of its natural oils so using the, the powder or the aerosol spray it helps to you know save your hair Anyways, um, so I was thinking of using this instead one day, but I haven't done that yet, so when I do, I'll let you guys know. One of its main uses is to be dusted all over your body. Uh, I like to use it after I shower and before I go to bed or before I go to the gym. And what it does is that it helps to soak up the extra, extra sweat or any moisture that you have and it helps prevent chafing and it helps your clothes to slide on you smoother and also helps to make your skin really soft and smooth. But of course it adds a touch of scent. Um, in the summertime the heat tends to intensify the perfume that you're wearing and it tends to get really overpowering so I like to use the dusting powders instead because it's a light more of a light scent and it doesn't last as long as perfume but the less you smell like anything in the summertime the better let's see what else you can also use this to sprinkle on your bed sheets before you go to bed just sprinkle it on in between your your cover and the mattress and it is amazing I tend to get really sweaty when I sleep sometimes and I wake up a hot mess and it's not pretty but when I use dusting powders I wake up looking like this no I'm just joking I wake up and I smell really good and I'm not you know hot and sticky so I like to do that a lot it especially feels really nice after you get all lotioned up and you just shaved and you just feel like you're swimming because it's so smooth um, so I like to do that. Another thing that you can use with this is to sprinkle inside your socks or inside your shoes, kind of like a foot powder. Now Lush has one dusting powder, I think it's called Tea for Toes, that's made especially for your feet. So what that does, it just helps to eliminate the odor and to absorb the, the sweat so you're, you don't have gross, sweaty feet. Um, I've been tempted to just open up my sock door and just sprinkle it all over, but I haven't done that. Uh, another use you can um, use with these is to sprinkle your carpet with it before you vacuum and that helps to make your, your room and your carpet smell really nice. And I guess you can use that for your car too. Some people's cars smell really weird. Like they will leave like old food and old like fast food wrappers that still have like that fast food smell and it just makes their car smell really weird. So they should probably try using this. Um, on their carpet floor and that's about it for the uses if you guys can think of any more uses comment me or message me that would be really awesome um, let's see because this is really versatile and I know that there's probably a ton of other uses that um, you can get out of these as far as application you can use your hands um, just sprinkle on your hands and just rub it all over yourself or you can get one of these huge body puffs and just sprinkle it on your puff and just dab it on yourself. Now this feels really luxurious so I like to do it this way. And one of the cons to the dusting powders is the actual container. It's um, a cardboard um, cylinder and on the top it's kind of like a spice container where you can twist it and it has seven holes and 
on the other side it has like a big huge hole where you can scoop it out. I never use that. I just open it enough so that one of the holes is open and because the powder tends to come out not just from that but from like the entire top from any holes um, or crevices that are on the top so that's kind of annoying but I guess what you can do is get like a Tupperware dump all of this in there and then just use a powder puff to use it but I'm way too lazy for that so I just keep it in here and try to be careful not to spill it everywhere but even if you do that's just an added bonus because it makes your room smell really nice or your bathroom or wherever you go to dust yourself um so that's pretty much it um I hope you guys learned something if you didn't know what dusting powders were for um and again for those people that um, use it for anything else, let me know, because I'm really interested. Um, so if you're interested, check out Lush's website, um, wherever I put the link, and, um, check out the other flavors. There's seven total, I think, the one that was for the toes, and then there's six other smells, and I've been to the store and I smelled all the other ones, and I'm really tempted to buy one of each, so, um, that's pretty much it. So, um, thanks for watching, um, and enjoy the sunshine, and try not to sweat too much. Bye.